so I was gonna do what I eat day, but I have eaten most of my food already. I'm just at work and uh, well I've eaten my lunch my breakfast and lunch. So anyway, I do have my nine potatoes boiled for dinner. Um, and a nice container of salsa here. And I've got some other stuff, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get around to it yet or not. So anyway, I've entered the potatoes and everything I've eaten so far in chronometer. And I highly recommend getting the app. Um, so right here I have 600 grams of pineapple, four mangoes, nine boiled potatoes and about a half cup of salsa maybe a bit more but usually the salsa isn't a huge factor so going in there there is the nutrients so so far once i have my potatoes in about half an hour hour there is Ooh, i lost my screen again yeah so i've got there's the balance so far let's look a little bit closer Oh darn, I've had 100% of my water today. Lots of calories, look at the percentage there. 5% protein, 92% carbs, and 3% fat. Awesome. These are all my vitamins here. B12, I do supplement. I take 15 milligrams uh, a couple times a week, maybe like two days a week. Um, Last time I had my B12 checked, it was fine, but I still do it. Um, I know that the body gets rid of the excess, but it is a great thing for preventing neurological disorders as it, when I get older. Um, all the other B vitamins, B6, awesome. Vitamin D, I'm gonna be going and sitting out in that lovely sunshine in just a couple minutes. So, I'm gonna go wash some rocks at the gym, um, but for now, so I'm not worried about vitamin D. Let's focus again, okay. Vitamin K, even though I haven't had any greens, I've still gotten 100% of my vitamin K. Calcium, I'm not really concerned about it. I've never had an issue with it. I really don't want calcification in my body. I had kidney stones in the past and I don't want them again, so I'm okay with the low calcium. Tons of copper, enough iron. My iron's always been fine when I've gotten tested. Magnesium's great, manganese lots, phosphorus. The only thing I find that's consistently low is selenium. Um, so I'm gonna have a Brazil nut when I get home tonight. I'm gonna add that in and I'll just storyline to that in a minute. Everything there, 50 grams of fiber, 54 grams. All omega-3s, none of the junk. And the protein, the one that everybody's always concerned about. Look at green, green, green. Everything is in the green. Beautiful. So far from just fruit and potatoes, I've had 39 grams of, pota of protein. Fantastic. So let's add that. I'm gonna go in and add the Brazil nuts. And just see what uh, unsalted. And let's see, add a serving. So I added one single Brazil nut and we'll see how it changes things. So my fat went up 1% from a single nut. Crazy. Okay, but we're gonna look for that selenium. All of a sudden, magical. I'm almost 200% of my selenium. One single Brazil nut. It's worth it. So added a little bit of omega-6, um, but that's okay. It's still a pretty good ratio, so I'm gonna have that nut when I get home tonight. And uh, that's my what I ate so far. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys, how's it going today? Um, I am back again. I'm reading my way right now through uh, John McDougall's The Starch Solution. Fantastic book, highly recommend it. Um, and just a couple of things are making me really, like my mind's kind of cranking right now. Um, beginning of the chapter, I kind of wanna, I don't wanna like refer to a couple of things that this, this book has sparked for me. Um, like, where is it? 
It was right at the... Anyway. <laughs> so, something that I was thinking, kind of like, again, piggybacking on what we talked about the other day about calcium. What are the, like, the major things that people are always concerned about? Oh, is there enough iron? Is there enough protein? Oh my gosh, I'm not going to get enough protein. Is there enough calcium? Well, in my research, I've actually learned that, like, calcium deficiency is, like almost like unrecorded and same with protein deficiency iron yes it happens in some people but get tested before you start supplementing because you can get too much of it as well um there was a chart that i'm going to probably show you guys in another video um but anyway in the book a couple pages ago i was reading about how yeah like animal products there's you know Red meat is known for being really high in iron. Um, milk is known for being really high in calcium. But looking at all the different animal products and what they're high in, all the other like major deficiency things, they're extremely low in, if possibly like non-existent. Um, like other than milk, no other animal products actually, or like dairy, no other animal products actually contain any calcium aside from the shell of an egg. Um, so it's like if you're not eating a balanced food, food often like seeks balance and it'll draw out nutrients um, and acidity does that too. So it's just really, really interesting. But yet plant-based foods have all of the things that we need in smaller amounts and uh, when we're eating plant-based we're eating alkaline our body doesn't need to leach out uh, minerals in order to counteract the acidity created um, there's a couple pages here that I really I'm gonna make another video for you but I need to um, not be sitting in my car <laughs> but it's just kind of a funny thought that like yeah like you know red meat is really high in iron but none of those other things that we're really concerned about and then just uh, I really want to find that page <laughs> it was uh, really sparked me but anyway um, so that's just my uh, just a quick kind of thought of the day that hmm, it's funny that I, I never really made that connection and I'm starting to wonder that maybe we've really started to focus on these specific nutrients um, because they're in animal products and that people feel like they need to have these animal products in order to get enough. I don't know. Because people don't freak out about vitamin C and we're one of the few creatures on earth that actually can't synthesize our own vitamin C. And vitamin C is exclusively found in plant foods but nobody's like freaking out about vitamin C and vitamin C when taking a supplement or vitamin C itself which is not just ascorbic acid ascorbic acid it's like if you look at an orange the skin on the orange is ascorbic acid and that was the first thing that they discovered when they discovered vitamin C and now when you buy vitamin C supplement that's usually all it is but vitamin C is the ascorbic acid shell and then a whole bunch of other stuff inside, which is why it makes it so important to get something like vitamin C from a plant-based whole food source instead of a supplement. Um, it also lasts for only like three hours in the body, so we really need to be having plant foods with every meal. Constant surge of vitamin C, so important if you're worried about iron, Iron needs vitamin C in order to be assimilated in the body. Again, if all you're doing is going out and having steak, but you're not having anything vitamin C, then you're just wasting your time, you're hurting your body, you're wasting your money, like just, and you're causing unnecessary harm. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's my little blurb for today. I will talk to you guys soon. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, share, message and I will talk to you soon. Have a great day guys. Bye.